What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Western Wednesdays, where we get straight to the point. Starting with the traction, we have these rubber inserts out on the outsole, uh, labeled or colored in the lime green. Um, design, it almost, it really does feature the shoes that you would see on Curry, uh, his basketball shoe, or even the Under Armour Flow Velocity uh, review that I did. The same design, same pattern on the, on the bottom of the outsole, which I really actually like a lot. I feel like it does a really good job um, with providing good traction when you're using it. There's, for some reason, the grooves do a really good job of almost like providing like a suction uh, on the ground. So you get that nice grip, that nice traction. Now that's what's labeled or in the green, okay? And it's a nice durable rubber. The white is actually the charged cushion from Under Armour, okay? So as we move up on the midsole, the charged cushion, I don't know if, if anybody's experienced it, it's pretty good, it's lightweight. Uh, it's not as responsive as some of the other cushions that they provide or that you can find on other shoes, but it does a really good job because it is really lightweight. Now, you can see with the color options that they use on the midsole, you have this radiant like lime green that transitions into this orange. It's really cool, I, I like that. That's kind of one of the features why I grabbed this shoe instead of a different colorway because of the, the color options that they use. Now, uh, like I said, really lightweight, and as we move on up to the upper, they've continued that theme throughout with the little hints of those colors. But the upper materials, it's super minimal. The shoe is very, very, I mean, it, it consists of breathable mesh and a little bit of padding on the upper. Uh, portion of the shoe from the toe box to the heel. Super thin, super lightweight, um, provides a ton of movement, all right? Um, so it's literally, it's in black. It says it's a gray, but in when I have it close up, it, it looks black. I mean, it really does. So I mean, if you were to look it out in the light, it might give you some gray tint because of the mesh underneath, but it's gonna be a black shoe. Now, as far as going towards the heel uh, area, you have a pad that's covered. Um, that goes basically from medial to lateral heel with a little heel counter cardboard in there put uh, basically for your Achilles. Um, but that's about it and it carries on that theme as far as the color on the, the heel area too as well. Now on the lateral side you have that lime green Under Armour logo, the Charged Breeze orange logo on the tongue. Now the tongue is really really lightweight, it's basically a mesh as well. Tons of movement. It's attached at the midsole inside the shoe, um, and it's like a netted mesh under there. So just once again, providing a ton of breathability with this shoe. It is a running shoe, so if you're running outside, you want that air to breathe through, uh, so your feet's nice and cool. Now the lace loops, where they are, there's overlay to obviously add durability. Just your normal route round uh, lace loops, but you have that green hint uh, on the lace with the breeze in orange on the tips, okay? So that's kind of cool too. Like I said, really, really low key. Your insole is in lime green too, it's attached. Um, so I don't know if anybody, you know, want to tear those out to put their own insoles in, but they're like glued down, so you're not gonna be able to do that very much. But the cool cool part of the shoe is it's relatively cheap. It comes in at $90. Um, like I said, it's very minimal up on the upper, uh, but they are providing you that charged midsole, which they've used in a ton of shoes. The silhouette of this shoe, it's a low running shoe, all right? So, you, you, I mean, if you're looking for any type of options, this is a good option for Under Armour. Like I said, it's, it's low, the silhouette's low, so it's gonna provide like more of a speed style running shoe, um, lightweight, and it is true to, true to size as far as the length. It is a little roomy in the upper toe box area because of the material on the upper being so thin and so much movement. Um, if you are looking for a narrower shoe, if you want to do something like this, you could probably go down half a size. But other than that, man, I would say true to size as far as heel to toe. So, you know how I do it, man. I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoe review. I'm out of here. Peace.